Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the LTU Sports Support Football Coaches Edition. My name is Lauren Plant, and as always, I am joined by the head coach, Scott Merchant. We also have a chat uh, with the redshirt junior running back, Devon Bentley, later in the program. But uh, uh, coach, first off, thank you for being here. I know these aren't easy. After, uh, there's, but that's okay. You know, we've got uh, we've got some things that uh, we want to talk about, and we continue uh, the process of acclimating the nearly half of this roster being new. Every game, every practice um, is an opportunity for growth. Yeah. Um, and just like anything, we learn by the mistakes we make, and um, as long as we're doing that and we're making progress. Um, even though it's painful progress right now. Um, the positive is in both games, you know, we had opportunities to be up or within one point at halftime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were competitive, but, you know, we, you don't just play two quarters. Um, you don't. So, you know, that's going to be a real emphasis. Um, obviously, we, we need to play four quarters and, you know, we'll, we'll be addressing that in, in how we practice and some of the different things we emphasize this week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, 46 to 7 loss on Saturday again, top 25 ranked uh, St. Francis of Illinois, but really a tale of two halves, as you just alluded to. And uh, we did have some positives, though, you know, just in the first half, fourth down stop, great play in the end zone to take away a touchdown, great drive and score late in the half. And we've seen it for two, two straight weeks. Uh, you know, what a tough player Ryan Schuster is, a quarterback. You've mentioned this before, the fact that he really doesn't get rattled. And also the fact that we saw a pretty significant reduction in pen penalties uh, yeah. this, this game. Today. That was a big point of emphasis because those are self-inflicted wounds. Right. And those are things that we cannot do to ourselves against, against really good teams. So uh, I, was, I was very pleased that we reduced that significantly, almost in half this week. It was a point of emphasis. It's a reflection of discipline. And, and that's something we really talked about. Um, you know, I, I like the way our defense played until the last minute of the first half, right. just like I liked the way they played in the first half of the first game. Right. Um, but in my experience, the last minute of halves and closing out halves mm. is critical. Yeah. And if you can score in the last minute of a half or you give up a score, there's a huge momentum swing there. And I don't have statistical data, but I can just tell you from the 30 years I've coached, more times than not, if we were able to score in the last minute of the first or second half, I would guess we won significantly more. And when we gave up a touchdown in the last minute of either half, we lost significantly more. So we, we have to close out that half better. Defense did a great job. We've, we finally put a drive together. We score, we're up seven, five, 50 seconds to go. We get a stop, we get the ball to start the second half. It looks a lot different than being down 12-7 coming out at halftime. Yeah. But those are the things we have to learn how to do. Yeah, and all credit to that quarterback for St. Francis. Heck of an athlete. Great uh, player. You know, great player. And uh, he made a great play. And, um, you know, again, I, I agree with that uh, assessment wholeheartedly. You had no say in who your opponents were going to be here. Uh, Certainly not. Early in the early going, coming out of the gate, three top 25 opponents, three in the top 10, including number six Marion on the schedule uh, for this weekend at home, considering uh, everything really leads up to divisional play. Um, how does a gauntlet like this prepare you for a week six, a week seven? Yeah, I mean, like, to me, this, it's not going to get any tougher than this. Right. So you have to figure out how to survive and how to improve in, in multiple ways. That's not just on the scoreboard. Um, obviously, we'd, you know, we'd, we'd love to be on the right side of that column. But more importantly, like, how are we developing as a team? Um, what's the morale? It, it, it's hard when you lose and you're trying new things. Um, we just have to stay the course and keep working every day and commit ourselves to being open, to being coached. And our coaches have to do a better job as well, including myself. Um, and we just have to stay consistent and, and stay with the process. And 
when we get out on the other side of this three game stretch, I'm not saying it's easy by any means, but we're not playing three top 25 teams in, in a row again. Um, we also have a buy in there to get healthy a little bit. Who are some of the guys right now? Maybe you know, we'd like to give a couple shout sure. outs to a few players who you, you think are taking advantage <clears> of that. Yeah, and I, I mean, part of this is a feeling out process, yeah. not only for the players, but for, for the, the coaches, coaches too. Yeah. We're trying to see, okay, who wants to compete and is successful competing against top 25 teams? Yeah. Because if, if, if you're good in that situation, okay, you're going to be fine mm -hmm. against everybody else. Mm -hmm. And who can handle the pressure? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there's a saying, pressure busts pipes or pressure makes diamonds. It's one or the <laughs> other, right. man. So right. uh, we're trying to find the, the diamonds. At the wide receiver position, Tyler Garrett's played two really good games in a row. Um, he also had a nice punt return last week. Um, freshman Buddy Banks Williams out of Davison had an outstanding game last week and is going to be playing a lot more. He's probably 150 pounds dripping wet, <laughs> but that guy is a football player and he plays yeah. at one speed and he's a competitor. Mm -hmm. um, he's done a really nice job. Yep. Devon's been a productive player. He his stats might not have been as good this week as the previous week, right. but he, he played a better game. Yeah. He played, and sometimes people just look at the stats. That's right. Um, you know, I think Ryan's done a good job consistently. Defensively, um, our two linebackers have been the best. Um, Brody Snyder, junior linebacker out of Bloomfield. I talked about him last week. And then Sylvester Jones, senior linebacker from um, Grand Blank. Yeah. I mean, those guys have been our top two tacklers the last two weeks. They're mm -hmm. consistent. They're, um, they're, they're very smart football players. They're very sound. John Webster's a senior corner. He came back from an injury uh, this week, and he played a lot. And I, I thought he did a really nice job in the secondary for us. All right. Well, Coach, good luck this weekend. Uh, let's uh, let's stay healthy yeah. uh, and uh, and let's see what we can do. It's good to be back at home. All right, so now we get an opportunity to talk to the redshirt junior running back, Devon Bentley here from LTU. Thank you so much for no problem. Thank joining you. us here. Yes, it's, we appreciate it and I know. Let's put aside the final score from Saturday, yeah. uh, but Coach has really talked about the improvement that you've made uh, in all aspects of the game, mentally and physically. Uh, how do you feel you're progressing at this point in your college career? Uh, I feel like I'm progressing very well. Well, uh, usually my problem was like physical progression uh, was my thing. I always had the skill, but I was never physically built to be where I needed to be. So uh, yeah, coming out of high school, I was kind of small. I could have went to a bigger school, ended right. up going to subpar D1 and ended up coming here. So I had to get bigger and LTU gave me that avenue to get bigger and I got bigger. I'm 202 pounds now, 5'10". It, it's helped me tremendously when it comes with running the ball and pass blocking. Oh my God, it helps yeah. so much. And just from the mental aspect of the game. Uh, I feel like emotions can uh, run too high. Sometimes that right. takes you out of your game right. or even when it comes to like people talking to you in your ear, you have to be able to block out the noise and just play football. At the end of the day, I'm trying to tell my young guys to like uh, just Keep your head down and just play football. Even what they, whatever, regardless of what they say, hone in on your skills and know what you can do because they didn't give you a scholarship for any for no reason. So come play ball. Then I've noticed teams are loading up in the box right now, which puts Jesus. <laughs> it puts more pressure on, on a guy trying to find success in the running game. Um, you're being used as a receiver too. Yes, sir. Uh, caught four balls for 21 yards and basically just a couple of quarters of work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, third and long, late in the second quarter on Saturday, Coach O calls the draw play. Mm -hmm. Pull off a nice 17 yard gain in there to get the first down. So we're talking about small victories, but talk about what you feel your strengths are and also where you feel you want to see yourself get better at. Uh, my strengths, honestly, are like my vision and my uh, tenacity, honestly. Mm -hmm. I can really get anywhere with anything just because it is the big frame I didn't develop. I can be able to run through people and I can I just developed how to start jumping over people. I don't know if you've seen that. I, I did. <laughs> I, I, saw, I, I just saw. started to do that. That was my first time ever doing yeah. that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And also uh, my uh, catching ability. I started off as a receiver coming up from uh, coming up through uh, my little league years in high school. I played running back, of course, but I also play receiver there. So I started as a receiver. So mm -hmm. me coming out of me being on the numbers is like home. So, yeah, 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 that's yeah, great yeah. for me. That's good.
right now you can see some noticeable improvement and you want to see the team keep moving in that direction because right. there's no question that towards the back end of the schedule the teams on paper mm -hmm. are not as tough as the teams you're facing now so what do you pull from these really tough matchups and areas that that you want to continue to see improvement and maybe that you are seeing improvement uh, I see a lot of improvement in our physicality when it comes okay. to like being on the field I know the guys are on the field and when we are on the field we always have that uh, that grit that callus we always built the callus and I know Lawrence Tech to always yes. be pad poppers I've yeah. always known that from previous years so mm -hmm. I, I know that we have improved on that and coming out and actually hitting somebody and actually getting playing football, just getting out there and being gritty. It's a matter of, of staying tough. You know, this is the grind yep. uh, of where you're at, still hot, yeah. you know, so you gotta make, still dealing with the elements and, uh, and just have to have these guys put it together for two halves. Put it together for two halves, put it together for two halves, definitely. Yeah. We, have, uh, we have definitely been uh, getting our guys mentally ready for this game because yeah. physically we're there. Right. We're there, okay. we're ready for it. We're ready for the game, we're ready for anybody that comes in front of us. The okay. number behind the team doesn't matter. We don't care if they're number one, two, three, right. or 10. Right. It's just, we have to be mentally prepared. We shoot ourselves in the foot. So right. Right. If, we, if we stop doing that, I don't think anybody can beat us. All right, well, there you go. And uh, good luck Thank you. this weekend. And of course, we invite everybody to join us at Blue Devil Stadium this Saturday for the game against Marion. So that is the show for this week. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of the LTU Sports Report Football Coaches Show.